checked it out and considered that it wasn't in too dangerous a position near the eye and uh, allowed in the box. What a good left hook there. When, when this fellow picks his best shots, he looks very good doing them, but then he doesn't seem to follow up enough. amazing how these seconds really can staunch the blood flow between rounds. There, believe it or not, at this point there isn't any more blood coming from Chandler's eye. It just amazes me that doesn't. Because he's really roughing up there, really roughing up. me really how Chandler's have kept away from trouble in that round with the eye. There it is again, must be an experienced corner man this fellow, he's uh, been very calm and collected about it with just a round to go now and I doubt if Chandler has been cut like that in any of his previous 20 contests. And they said that Hernandez from Puerto Rico had come to fight, as they say in the trade, and he certainly has. He's been a rough, awkward customer, and no doubt Chandler's learned a lot from it, particularly not to go and have any head clashes. The 12th and final round. Now there'll be a protest or not coming from Hernandez's corner about that white so last glove, the referee says, as we come out for the 12th round of the American Bantamweight Championship. And there is in fact a protest from the Puerto Rican's corner, but it's falling on deaf ears at this stage. Good right hand jump. He really impresses me, Chandler, when he lets those right hand punches go, but he's holding back too much for a potential world champion, but as I said, he's up there in the world rankings. Number nine position by the World Boxing Council, Chandler, number 13, Hernandez. And it's a good last round. And certainly Chandler trying to please those Philadelphia fans in this, well, mess as Hernandez hangs on for dear life. And quite rightly, getting a going over there from the New Jersey referee for that untidiness and hanging on. amazing how that patch hasn't come off of Chandler's eye. It is an added protection and would, I think, be, certainly be an illegal in uh, British boxing. So to the run-up then to the end of this 12 rounds championship fight, there's no doubt in my book, of course, that Jeff Chandler has won it, and I shouldn't think that anybody else is right hand and that's it he's not going to stay there now i wouldn't have thought he's complaining he's not saying why did he hit me on the chin he's probably saying he was thrown down after being hit but the referee quite rightly gives the mandatory eight count and hernandez is bleeding about the place a bit now and he really has taken a bit of stick in this round He's up a bit too early. He can take the eight count. 
He's not totally in control by any means. Can John look pull it off? Now all this fellow's got to do now is seek the easy way out to last the three minutes. The referee might do him a favour to stop the fight, really. And there it is, it's all over. And I think he's certainly pleased to hear that bell. Get the impression the Puerto Ricans said, well, at least I've had the professional pride of lasting 12 rounds. But he really was struggling in the last two, and particularly in the last minute or so of that one. Yes, he was cut a little bit over the left eye, as you can see. That's Bill Presenti there, the rather thin patch gentleman. Here's Jeff Chandler and his crew. And uh, the little top there in the tracksuit, that's K.O. Becky, his manager. He's uh, rather masked by this little frail body of Jeff Chandler at the moment. There she is. He's here just diving in there. Former acrobat. still working on that cut eye while they're quickly running around getting uh, the points verdict and the gloves have been cut off the challenger and handed back to the state commission and it really has got to be surely a formality now the second is very concerned all the time about uh, keeping Chandler's cut eye properly covered. Very professional work I thought that was, did a marvellous job on it. And that's uh, Becky O'Neill's husband, so she has every right to be pleased with the old man. And the Puerto Rican over there saying, well, we'll soon find out the distance of the scores on this one with the local judges walking towards me in the commentary position here and there they are the usual friendly stuff afterwards I think Chandler could have done without there's little KO Becky telling uh, what she believes obviously is the loser that he's done okay KO Becky does this gag where you can't lift her off the ground she wants to challenge Muhammad Ali and he too couldn't lift her up by the elbows. She really is unbelievable. It's, uh, you feel as there's a trick in there somewhere she learned as an acrobat. For taking the plaudits again, Jeff Chandler. At this weight in Britain, of course, Johnny Owen of Merthyr is the European and British champion. And he defends that uh, very soon against John Feeney. So there we are now have the result. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by a unanimous decision and still the United States Boxing Association and North American Boxing Federation Bantamweight Champion, Chilton Jeff Chandler. Chandler! Well, that is the formality then, obviously, of Jeff Chandler and little K.O. Becky saying, my man's done it again and the usual consolation for a good loser, a tough loser, who did the best he could, but it wasn't good enough. 